Roses are red, violets are blue. When the Sea Morning Zoo calls your man, he better choose you. War of the Roses, catching cheaters one at a time. And it starts now. And don't forget, you can always hear all the War of the Roses by going to Z104.com and then check out, clicking on the War of the Roses page. And, uh... You can catch up on that. And you can always submit yourself for Word of the Roses there as well in case you need us to help you maybe catch a cheater in your life, just like Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hey, guys. This isn't about Ross, is it? Uh, no, it's not about Ross at okay, all. Okay, good, because you two were on a break! Uh, okay, honestly. <laughs> all right, just kidding. Uh, no, this is actually about your boyfriend, right? Yes. And what is his name? Keith. Okay, and why are we putting Keith to the test today? Well, guys, um, he started his new residency at a hospital that he works at, and um, I really don't get to see him that much. He's doing 12-hour days, and um, yeah. he said that this was going to happen, and I knew it could be something that came up. And, I mean, he told me he wasn't going to have a lot of time for us during this time in this job. Okay, so hmm. there's been a lack of activity, but there's also been something else, right? Yeah, he, uh, he works with this true doctor who kind of looks like this girl, uh, the girl that's on the new girl show. Zoe, um, De- Zoe Deschanel? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, her. Yeah. Um, well, he spends most of his time with her. They, uh, they're eating lunch together and they hmm. eat dinner together. And I recently found out that they are taking naps together in the on-call. Oh. oh, yeah, right. Naps. Yeah. That's the part that would bother me for sure. Um, I've seen enough episodes of Grey's Anatomy that's, to know that's not what happens in the on-call that's room. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> right. And plus, um, when he comes home, he automatically tells me he's too tired for sex. And we used to do it, like, all the time, guys. Hmm. Okay, so let's see if Keith really is just tired or if he's making side appointments with Dr. Feelgood in the on-call room Hmm. here. So, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to call him up. We're going to offer him free roses, and then we'll see who he decides to send him to. And you're going to get to hear who he chooses, what he puts on the card, okay? Okay. Okay, now before we begin, I got to ask you two quick questions. Question one, are you sure you want all of this on the air? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Okay, and question two, how certain are you that if we offer him these roses, that he's going to pick you to send them to and not somebody else? I um, I honestly don't know, and I'm really kind of scared to hear that part. Yeah. Mm. Well, Well, I mean, we can stop if you want to. Um, no, I want to hear what he has to say. Okay. All right. Well, let's find out. Darling at random. Hello. Hi, good morning. I'm calling to speak with uh, Keith, please. Uh, this is Keith. Well, good morning, Keith. Uh, my name is Trisha, and I'm calling from a new floral delivery service called FloralDesigns.com. First of all, I want to congratulate you. Uh, we're having a free flowers weekend, and we've chosen random Visa and MasterCard customers to reward with free flowers, and you are one of our winners. Great. Uh, I'm actually real busy right now, and I don't, I don't have time for this. That's okay. Well, just let me fill you in pretty quickly on what you've won. Uh, you won a gorgeous bouquet of red roses, and we're going to send them to anybody that you want free of charge, so if there's a special lady in your life, we're going to send them to her, and then you get to put whatever you want on the card. Does that sound good? Uh, yeah, it, it's free, right? Yeah. Um, so okay. what we need to know uh, is who you would like us to send these romantic red roses to. Do you have somebody in mind? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so you're going to send them to the care of uh, General Hospital, and then you're going to send them to the orthopedics department. Okay, and then who are we going to send them to? Um, can you send them to uh, a Dr. Emily De- Okay, no problem. And then, there we go. And what would you like to put on the card that comes with it? Uh, one second, hang on. <laughs> okay, uh, can you put down, um, let me know when you're ready for another breast exam. So, wow. little, little doctor jokes. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> Explain the joke to Mickey. Oh, snap! I'm sorry, hello? Yes, hello. hello. It's your girlfriend, and my name is not Emily, so I'd like to know who the person is you're sending the flowers to and why you thought she deserved flowers more than me, Keith. Uh, okay, I, I don't know what this is or what's going on, but uh, I'm really busy up okay. here, so I no, 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 don't you dare. Don't you hang up on me. Don't you do that. What the hell is going on here? 
Hey, Keith. What uh, is it? Keith, maybe I can help. Listen, um, this isn't a flower company at all. This is actually the Z Morning Zoo radio show on Z104. Oh, wh- okay, well, why? Wh- what does this have to do with me? Why are you calling me? Well, your girlfriend, Rachel, asked us to put you to the test on a little segment that we do called War of the Roses. And as you may have surmised by now, you fail big time. Keith, who is this Emily girl? And why are you sending her flowers? Oh, my God. I don't, I, I don't have time for this, okay? I can't do this right now. No. No, you don't have time for it right now. You better have time for it, or you're going to have a whole lot of time by yourself. You know what? That's fine. Fine. If this is how you handle things and stuff, that's good. Because I was going to talk to you anyway, and I think we need to take a little break. A oh, break? Are you f***ing kidding me? Are you serious right now? And this is how you're going to tell me. You called me. You're the one who did it. Don't, don't even. I don't have time for this. You, you know what? Go be with your little whore of a doctor, and whoever she is, I hope she can find a cure for your premature <laughs> problem, Keith. Oh my god! This morning zoos, or of the Rosus.